Before we talk about the Lumentop IYP UV pen light and the Lumentop Tool AA UV flashlight, let's talk about the electromagnetic radiation spectrum. Okay, so on the far left, with the shortest wavelengths, you have the gamma rays. And on the far right, you have the radio waves with the longest wavelengths. The longer the wavelength, the less energy it has. Uh, we're more uh, interested in the ultraviolet range and the visible light range. So the visible light range contains uh, spectrum from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer range. And then the ultraviolet light contains the 100 nanometer to 400 nanometer. This is a uh, far UV and this is a uh, germicidal UV. And then you have the uh, UVB and UVA. Okay, so let's jump into the unboxing. Start with the Tool AA UV flashlight. Inside the box, you have the manual, glow in dark silicone diffuser. Two silicone rings. Up next is the IYP UV pen light. Inside the box, you have the manual, T spare O rings, glow in a dark silicone diffuser and the IYP UV itself. All right, let's talk about the Tool UV. The Tool AA UV comes with a Lumen Top 14500 battery with capacity of 650 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt, 2.4 watt hour, and a built-in micro USB charging port, which is convenient. Inside the head you have button style contact. It's plated as you can see. And a spring contact inside the tail. The Tool AA UV supports both AA battery and a 14500 battery. If you use a 14500 battery, then the tail switch will light up. Otherwise, it will not. In front of the head is a dichroic filter, which filters out visible light and releases only ultraviolet light. That's important because you don't want visible light to interfere with the subject that you're shining the light on. I'll show you what that means in a little bit. Up next is the IYP UV pen light. You have a glow in a dark ring under the lens an orange peel reflector, and the same LED as the one in the Tool AA UV. That's the Luminous SST10 UV LED. Nice gold accent right there. Gold accent here, pocket clip. That's the switch. This one did not come with any batteries. The IYP supports only two AAA batteries. Inside the head, you have a button cell contact. And spring style contacting the tail.
I have two in loop AAA batteries. Low mode, high mode. And when you turn it on, the ring should glow. Let's talk about use cases. You can use UV lights to authenticate banknotes. You can use UV lights to make glow in a dark material glow brightly. You can use UV lights for stain detection, leakage detection, curing, and uh, other medical uses. Oh, and you can also use UV light to uh, look for certain types of minerals. Let's check out the UV light for authenticating notes. As you can see, this is authentic. That's authentic. And that's authentic. Now, I have this chemical test card for testing UV lights. So, the strength of UV will depend on um, battery used and distance. The greater distance, the wider the area it has to light up. So, from this distance, it shows that's moderate, but if you do it up close, high to very high. I'm giving away one of uh, this card is a Quantidose UVA, UVB, UVC test card. I'll include a link to this company so that you can purchase your card if you don't want to enter the contest. To win one, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment. Earlier, I said that the tool AA UV has a dichroic lens and that filters out some visible light. To demonstrate that, I'm going to shine it at this light switch. So here's the IYP UV. I can see the stain, but through the camera, visible light is interfering with the stains. Now for the tool AA UV. Operation is quite simple. Click on, click off. And you can also half press 